As President Obama threatens to veto the latest military defense bill passed in Congress, joining us right now is South Dakota Senator John Thune. Senator, good to have you on the program. Thanks so much. Good morning, Maria. Can you take us behind the dealings uh, in terms of this defense bill? I mean, I think it's pretty clear to most Americans that things have gotten more frightening and more dangerous around the world, and we need a stronger military, not uh, a smaller one. Yeah, that's the great irony in all this, Maria. You've got <clears throat> ISIS continuing to gain strength, uh, Russia expanding its influence in the Middle East, and you have a defense bill that came out of the Armed Services Committee here in the Senate with a big margin, went to the floor, passed by a big margin, went to the conference with the House of Representatives, came back to the floor, passed yesterday with 70 votes, and the president singles he's going to veto it. Uh, in, in light of everything that's going on around the world, it just seems like right now the president's priorities are really off. And I think this is an indication of, uh, again, America's uh, loss of influence around the world and, and the Russians preying on our weakness. What do you think Russia's intentions are here? What are, what are Putin's motives? Well, I think he just wants and I think he wants to be the guy, the go-to guy in the Middle East, and they've created this unholy alliance with Iran and Syria and Hezbollah, and they'd love to push the United States out of there. And at some point, uh, we're going to have, the president's going to have to draw a red line with Russia, and he's going to have to back it up. There are going to have to be some repercussions. Otherwise, they're going to continue to be emboldened, and obviously there isn't anything right now that's slowing him down. Michael? Yeah, look, um, you know, three years ago, Mitt Romney said he was worried about Russia. He was mocked by President Obama. Now it looks like Romney was onto something here. Uh, he was right. Yeah, unfortunately, there's a Cold War back on here. We're seeing, uh, we're, we're at loggerheads with Putin here in Russia. But I go back to Cold War theory, and I think about mutually assured destruction. There's this talk about nuclear smuggling here, uh, Senator Thune. Um, what do you think Putin is thinking about this, this nuclear uh, terrorism issue? Is this something where perhaps in the back channels or perhaps uh, there's something imminent where they are going to work more closely with us in terms of thwarting this part of the situation? Yeah, I, I wouldn't be surprised at all. And I think one of the, you know, the president's probably two biggest miscalculations are when he called ISIS the JV team and when he mocked Mitt Romney for arguing that Russia was a great uh, threat. And I think what you're seeing happen in the Middle East today is suggestive that Russia clearly wants to regain its influence and its empire. And I think that if nothing is done to prevent or to stop that, they're only, that's only going to continue to grow. And I think this attempt to try and get for these extremist groups to get radioactive material that they can use to target Americans, it certainly fits in with Russia's agenda. I think Russia wants to be a disruptor, and they obviously want to drive the United States out of that region. But, but I mean, you know, when you think about the fact that we just did this deal with Iran, doesn't the world get even more dangerous in terms of nuclear weaponry being sold, knowing what we, that, that Iran is about to get $150 billion of new money? Well, one of the fears, Maria, always has been is that Iran, of course, in, in addition to their own nuclear program, would want to sell that to terrorist regimes. And you've got that, as I said, sort of axis out there that's trying to, uh, position themselves and and gain nuclear capabilities that they can threaten the rest of the world with and I think the Iranian nuclear agreement you know a hundred billion dollars or more that they can use to fund terrorism uh, they get to go to their you know eventually going to have their nuclear capability the world's become increasingly dangerous at a time when the United States has made a decision through President Obama to basically withdraw and I think that's a huge mistake. I mean, we've got to be, uh, we've got to provide leadership in the world. If there's a vacuum there, bad actors are going to fill it. That's exactly what Russia is doing. Right. All right. Senator, good to have you on the program. Thanks very much for your insights. We so appreciate it. Thanks, Maria. Senator John Thune joining us there. From superheroes to zombies, the Comics Con Festival descends on New York. It's a big event, and we're going to give you a preview of the crazy costume.